In this class, we are going to learn how to display a column in our editable table. In general, any table need not be any editable table only. That is to how to represent a data which we can calculate with the help of some expression. In our case, we will make use of the JavaScript. In our demonstration so far, we had seen how to build this editable table where you can edit the employee details. If you want to change the name, we can just change the name and we can update any salary and hire date. So we can just tab out, it will be updated. And if you want to delete that particular record from the, our database, we can just uh, delete that by clicking on the button. So what we'll do is in order to add the column, which can show you the value based on some expression, we have to select this and we have to go to the data and click on this and select the new empty column. Click on this there is an empty column got added what we will do is we will bring this above actions and we will name this as salary range if you want to make this as disabled for scrollable and sortable we can just disable it next thing what we can do is we can just add the text over here in order to represent the data we will just drag this text and drop it over here so it will add the bind text so we'll customize this if you go over to the code over here it has added the template for us with the name salary range Next what we have to do is we have to make use of this javascript and create a function. I have already created a javascript method or the function that is to calculate the salary range. In the request what I am doing is I am getting that current particular row data and I am checking whether any salary information is present or not. If it is present then I am adding some dummy condition so the range should be in between like minus 100 and plus 1000 we can just make this 500 as well so it should be under this range so this you can calculate based on your database or some application if you have created like for some role like the senior consultant level if salary should be three thousand dollars and so forth things so that the user can enter the data in that particular range only over here when they are modifying like this also we can add the validations that is to check whether the user has entered more than that Suppose if a manager gets impressed by some person and they want to give them more salary then that can be avoided by introducing the validations for the salary field. So we are not looking into the validation part in this class. We will just see how to calculate the data and represent in a table based on some expression that is the JavaScript. Next what we have to do is we have to go to the space designer once we have created a JavaScript function and search for the template if you are not comfortable with the code view just go to the design view select this salary or you can make use of this structure as well over here so our salary range is over here select this bind text now here what you have to do is instead of current data uh, you have to just make use of our new function that is over here under the functions we have to expand and drag and drop this get formatted salary range in the current row buffer what you have to do is you have to drag and drop the current row then click on save so once you have tab out it will automatically show you the details over here that the salary should be in between minus 500 that is 10k to 11 500 that is 100,000k so if you double click it shouldn't allow us to modify the details over here so we can restrict that by making that as a read only we can just remove this input number and make that read only even if the user clicks on that you can just disable or instead of input number you can have a bind text or you can have only the navigation mode no need to have the edit mode for this so like this we can display the data in the editable or any table in visual builder that is based on some expression or based on some calculation